little bit of time shooting it, get used to it, kind of see what it's like before I talk about it. Um, so far I'm really, really happy with the gun. It, overall it's been a very nice gun. Um, just a few things we want to talk about is the length is 40.25 inches long. So it's not super, super long. It's a little over 40 inches. It's easy to handle. Um, the 500 being 48 inches, there's a noticeable difference just in handling it when you're swinging it around, you know, bumping into stuff. You know, this gun is a lot less likely to bump into stuff. Um, weight is 6.5 pounds, so it's pretty light, even when you put a hefty scope on it. For me, it's a pretty, pretty light gun. Um, you can get a single shot tray for the gun, which I have in it right now. You gotta cock the gun open. And then there's a single shot tray. They're kind of expensive. Uh, they really look pretty easy to make. So I'm sure if you're a little crafty, you can make one. And it comes with a 12 shot magazine. So that's the same as the 500. You just bend it back. You load a pellet in backwards. And then you can just load up pellets from there on out. Um, the magazine I've used a few times and it seems to be working extremely well. Um, it's not as nice as a day state mag in my opinion because it uses the pellet skirt to stop the mag which can cause a little bit of deformation which I really haven't had any trouble with. It just may be in the head a little more than anything. I don't much care for it. So, Anyhow, the gun is a side lever as you can see which is real nice. The gun has a power adjuster. On this side, it's just a wheel. Um, the, both the 500s and the 400s have it. You turn it, there's three positions. Um, I'll go over some crowning numbers with that. Um, right now, on high, I've been getting with 18 grain JSBs. Um, this one is regulated. I've been getting 860s on average with it. It varies between 855 and 865 uh, with the 18 grains. And then with the 15.9 grain JSBs, and I've been getting around 890 with it, so accuracy has been ex extremely well. Uh, the gun has an adjustable buttstock piece on it, um, which is really nice to have. I like it down a little bit, so when I bring it up, I got everything right in line, and then scope alignment is pretty decent. These are the extra high mounts that I'm using. There's one inch of clearance between the bottom and the top. That way there's plenty of room for your magazine to fit in if you got a scope that's a little bit bigger. So overall, I've been, like I said, really, really happy with this gun. The synthetic stock is nice and comfortable, solid. Um, there's not much flex. Uh, you can put a, drill it and put a, um, a scope sling mounts in there, or studs. I had no problem putting studs in my 500. Basically, it's almost identical to the 500, just not as big a caliber, not as uh, big an air tank, and not as long. Um, with a 400cc air tank, I've been seeing about 60 shots with a 200 or 2,300 PSI fill. I'm sorry, 3,300 PSI fill. Spit it out right, cricket. Anyways, yeah, um, 230 bar, I believe, is what that comes out to be in bar. So. 60 shots with 400 cc's um, and I can wop a 80 yard spinner for all 60 shots and with only maybe a 10 if that feet per second deviation. I'm hoping this one will um, I guess tighten up with the deviation like my 500 did. My 500 is running maybe about 5 on average for deviation and it'll bounce between 878 and 884. So right around five, six feet per second, but that gun's been shot for almost a year now. So everything being new, everything's got a little bit of wear time and adjustment time and springs and stuff all got to come into it. And I haven't had a lot of time shooting because it's been pretty, pretty cold. So uh, I guess as far as the, the ergonomics go, it's got a really nice rollover cheek pad. Um, the pistol grip is really nice. It's got a nice spot for your thumb to lay inside right on there. To me it's an extremely comfortable gun. It's almost like it was custom made for, for my hands. Being large to medium large hands and not a real big guy. It uh, seems to be real nice. Trigger is really nice. I know some people don't like them but it, it can get down to that pound and a half 
range really easy, maybe even a little bit less. I don't have a gauge and I don't like real light triggers, so I'm not really going to elaborate on triggers, but it's no creep and uh, two stage, and it seems to work good for this guy. So overall, I'm extremely happy with the gun. So when you want to fill it, you just got to pull this off. It doesn't come with these caps, and that's one of my disappointing parts. Um, you can get these off of you know, any, any paintball store or online, you can find them. It's just a cap for a paintball tank, foster fitting cap. So, and then they got the gauge down here, just like the 500. Room is limited. Um, I'm probably going to open this up a little bit so I can get my fat little fingers in there a little bit better. Uh, right now, you got to kind of struggle. So, filling it, he like said, is pretty simple. I gotta use just my finger on the top so it will fit in the hole. Because there's no, no way to get to it any other way, so you're stuck with one finger. I wish they would have opened this up and put a bigger rounded cap in there. It would make it much more comfortable when shooting and much easier to access than it is now. But it's not the end of the world. So we fill it up to 3,300 PSI. I think that if you do it the right way, it's pretty easy to get in and out of. I've yet to modify mine. I keep talking about doing it, but I just have yet to do it. So, magazine you load up, open that up, slide that in there, and then Put this forward, be kind of careful when you're putting it forward so it lines up to the holes because there is some play. You know, you can have it out, you can have it in. There's a little bit of play. Single shot tray, same thing. Open it up, there's a groove to make sure it goes in the right way. Slide that in and push that forward, make sure everything lines up. You can decock the rifle anytime you want. Um, if you have a magazine in it, you'll have to take the magazine out and decock it and then. Um, you'll have a pellet in the breech, so you gotta be wary of that. That's why I don't much care for these magazines. If you have it loaded up and put it in there, you push the pellet forward. If you wanna take it back out and decock it, this will rotate and there'll be another pellet waiting to go in there. So you'll have to shoot the gun, then put the magazine in, or wait till you shoot the gun and then put the magazine in either way. So, otherwise you just hold the lever all the way back, pull the trigger, and then let it go forward. And it's decocked now. So, all in all, I say the gun is pretty nice. It seems really, really well made. Um, there is a power adjustment on these guns. Being regulated, there's not much of an adjustment window for this one. But if you want to adjust the power on the non regulated ones, are a little better for that. Even with the regulated ones, you, have, you can go up to a certain amount and then you have to come back down. I don't have the right key here. So. There we go. There we go. I guess just a little bit hard seeing. My eyes are starting to go. Pretty soon it'll be contacts and glasses. Um, little screw holds the stock on. Action comes right out real easy. Be aware if you're going to shoot the gun without the stock on it. There's little pins right here. Uh oh, that's a bummer. There's little pins that hold all this stuff in here and they will have a habit of moving while you're shooting it and the stock keeps them from moving. So on the back right there is the power adjuster. All you do is put your tool in the dang, got dropsy too. Put your tool in the hole, in more power, out less power, you're just adjusting the tension on the hammer spring. So like I said, being regulated, we can lower that power quite a bit, um, but we only have so much pressure you know, moving forward with it. So we are gonna be cause somewhat limited. Um, I was shooting eight 50s when I got it, I would brought it up to 865 and that seemed to be about it for this particular regulator in this gun. I'm not sure if you can adjust the regulator some. I think you can. I've heard of guys who had regulated guns shooting 870s and 890s. 
So I would think that there's some room for adjustment on the regulator or possibly have to get a, a different regulator. But I'm real happy with the 860, 865. I'm getting nice shots. I'm getting very accurate shots. Half inch groups at 50 yards was pretty easy. One inch spinner, one and a quarter inch spinner at 80 yards was no problem. So accuracy isn't an issue. Um, it seems to like 18 grain JSBs a little bit better than the 15.9, but both of them are extremely accurate. So again, to put it back together, we just drop it back in. And we just tighten this back up. Real easy to take the action and out of the stock, which is kind of nice. So, like I said, extremely comfortable. Good length to pull for the trigger. I slide my hand up, stops, and I'm right, just about right in the crease. So, for me, like I said, I bring the gun up, and everything lines right up. I'm extremely comfortable. Um, noise wise, it's a little louder than my 400. Um, I can compare it to the Huntsman with the Airstream setup. It's almost equal to it. I'd say the Huntsman's a touch louder. Uh, this gun's a touch quieter. You know, loudness, I guess, is up to you. What's, what's acceptable and not acceptable to you. For me, it's plenty quiet for shooting in the backyard. Um, but it's, a, I'm, it's allowed in my town, so I may not, may not be, uh, okay by you so you guys can figure that out on your own anyhow there you have a little bit of an overview on the 400 we'll do a little chronic test we'll, we'll do a little shooting and then we'll wrap it up so all right we'll see you in a few minutes here let's go get ready to shoot All right, guys, we're going to shoot um, 18 yards indoors here. Uh, weather's in climate. I'll throw in some 50-yard uh, and 80-yard shooting a little bit with it. Um, it won't be a uh, paper. It'll be at targets. Snowing outside, cold outside, slushy outside. Um, we're going to have to wait till a little better weather for, for doing anything more than that. So anyways, let's get to shooting.
Not my best groups by no means. I've shot a lot tighter groups than that, but here's a dime. And it's maybe half of that. We're looking at uh, three sixteenths of an inch. This one, maybe a little over a quarter. Um, well, that was me. I did that one. That was just a bad position. went off at the wrong time. And otherwise, I'm way under a quarter on that. Um, both these will pellet hole. I've had them all the way down to one eighth of an inch, center to center. Basically, just the size of the pellet, maybe a little bit bigger. So, there again, here's a dime. Now you see me, now you don't. So, the gun's really accurate. Oh, so far. I have no accuracy issues whatsoever. So, it's a toss up between the 500 and the 400 for accuracy, in my opinion. They're both really accurate. All right, guys, here we are set up with the crani. We're gonna run some 18 grains over on high power first. And we'll see how that goes. We're just gonna do maybe five shots each. I'm not gonna do a lot of crani testing. These are 18 grains. Looks like I'm missing the missing the crowny a few times. Oh well. Eight seventy four. Well, it looks like she's breaking in a little warmer than where I had it before, which is good. Uh, this is good. Eight seventy seven, so as you can see there's not much deviation as it's breaking in. I'd say I got I bought three tins of pellets and I'm down to a little over one. So and then I shot some fifteen point nine grains through it, so I probably got close to fifteen hundred shots. Not quite. I'd say Maybe 1,200 shots through it. So, overall I'm pretty happy. There we go. Yeah, definitely picked up a little bit of mojo. All right, here we go. We got our line back up again. I just a little bit out of alignment. Some days you just have that, right? These are the 18 grains. Um, accuracy at 20 yards is pellet on pellet. Just one little hole down there. So that's 18 grains. Let's try the 15.9. A 
little bit more zip. see about the second power setting this is number two power setting that was the lowest this is medium with 15.9 green settings and at 720 feet per second it's still putting out a good amount of energy I'll toss some 18 grains in there now we're just got one line from the different velocities but Accuracy is right on there, neither. The height is off because of the different weights of pallets, but the left and right doesn't change for the most part. So, there you have it. We got some uh, cranny testing in, so. We'll do a quick wrap up on here and then All we'll right. be done. We'll wrap this up a little bit. Um, we got a high of 875, a medium of 689, a low of 525 for the 18 grains on all the different power settings. That's 31 pounds, uh, 19 pounds, and 11 pounds of energy. And the 15 9 grain. We had an uh, average of 918, uh, 721, and 550, which would be uh, 29 and a half, 18, and 11, not quite 11 foot pounds of energy. So, accuracy, I was getting pellet on pellet at 18 yards. Um, here's a 18 yard shot group. Uh, the smallest one is, I think, an eighth of an inch. I shot that the other day here in the house. And like I said, half inch groups at 50 yards are common. Um, even sub half inch, I think I've gotten some 10 shot. I try to do 10 shot more than 5 shot. Some 10 shot 3 eighths and 5 sixteenths. And I think I've had a couple quarter inch 10 shot groups. So all in all, the, the rifle seems to be performing very well. It's still breaking in. And I think the crown gave us a little trouble. Once I realigned it, everything seemed to be better. Probably should have did that right away. I just was a little off in alignment, and that's important when you're crowning. So I think we got a couple uh, high numbers that we shouldn't have. But anyways, all in all, the gun seems to be performing well. It's still breaking in, and maybe another couple, maybe another thousand shots or two thousand shots, it'll all be settled in, and, and uh, we'll do a revisit then. We'll do some 50-yard and 80-yard shooting. I got some spinners I shot with the scope cam. I'll put that in here and. Hopefully you all like it, so I like the gun, and it's an awesome little gun, so glad to have it in my collection now. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.